Hello, back again one more time today to shoot a video here. I was uh, scanning through the Alaska and Canadian webcams, the aviation webcams that the government has put up, and their little red reflection or projection, you want to say, is back, and you can catch some of the lenses in, out there that the, as the sun's going past them, you can see them glare up and see them, how they cause this reflection down there. I can show you on one of the cameras here how the jets are spraying chemtrails so thick and you can just watch them spread frame to frame to frame um, they're pretty much just giving you all the proof you need on their own cameras but here we go camera one see there's your reflection coming in or I shouldn't say reflection I should say projection there's a lens approximately right in that area there it is see it and the light focal point is here, spreads out there, creates that type of projection, just kind of like projection would, just when light hits it at that proper angle. You see as the sun hits it, the glare gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And just watch it as it goes by. And don't take that as a lens flare. That's not a camera anomaly. If you watch previous videos, see like right there, there's clouds or chems going over top of it. You know, it's behind those. It's not in front of them. So it can't be a camera anomaly. And right there is just going past another lens. Look at the incredible rainbow glaring effect as it goes by. Let's go to camera number two. And you just kind of get better as they go. But as you can see, is it's starting right here. And these are all approximately the same time, same degrees, just different cameras. And as I'm flipping through here, see the... Is it's moving just like on the other one and if you look carefully you'll see here it'll back up one look really close right here there's one there keep scrolling through and there's one and those are your lenses in there that are either hiding obstructing or magnifying the Sun I haven't figured that out and that's one I seen, didn't see before. Check out the chemtrail forming right here in the background. See the stripe? Watch it grow. There you go. Look at it. It just gets thicker and thicker and thicker until it turns into that white haze. You can't see anything. And right there's a circle there. Here's your projection coming down. You can see just the edge of one of the lenses here. And they get better as the camera as it goes on. Like here, we'll go to the next frame next frame here you are you just see it right there perfect circle and then you can see the glare bouncing off the edge of one here and that's what they're using to obscure what we don't want to see they also can use it to focus sunlight if you ever heard of a Fresnel lens you go just look it up on YouTube and watch how they come out of big screen televisions the old school projection ones and when you have the sun hit them, they're like a giant magnifying glass, but just ten times more potent. You know, I've seen them cut steel, melt glass, and it doesn't take them, you know, even minutes to do it. It's a matter of seconds, and it'll turn a piece of glass into a molten ball or cut right through a piece of re-rod. It's pretty amazing. But right there's your projection here. And another camera. There is your projection showing up there, and if you look, you can see the lens right there. This one's pretty clear. You can just see the obstructions in the sky. Or I should say better off in space. But if you just watch the glare, you can see the chemtrails going by, and what that does is obscures those lenses. Just look at how the light's smeared right here. That's another lens here in the background that you can't see. You know, it's there, and if you look real close, you can see just the very edges or outlines of it, but you can see how it's obscuring the sunlight. There you are. It's taking a big old chunk out of the side of the sun. And there's another one. I just want to know what's behind it. And there's chemtrails being sprayed. There's a break in the light pattern here. There's another round orb here. And as you can see, the chemtrails go over top of it so to me that proves it's in the background it has nothing to do with a camera anomaly or glitch or anything that you want to say that the cameras causing it well the cameras causing it clouds can't be in front of it then can they 
that's the end of those frames but just look at the side of what's missing there's something there that's obstructing a ton of sunlight and if you look over here here's another I believe those are the lenses that there's something behind it so they just, just don't want to see in what's back there and the last camera for this evening there's our beautiful halo and what this one is is an awesome view of how they're spraying the trails across the sky and you can just watch them stretch here we go look in the background there's one that's not even the good ones you can see another one just wave by Look at this big, just monster wall of them moving in. And then you see the haze coming down from when they drop just off camera range. Just off its view. Oh, don't worry. There's a couple jets coming up. It'll put them right across the middle of the screen for you. There's the first one. Look at that. All the way across. There's another one. Isn't that incredible? All the way across. There's another one here. Look at how they just float. Now watch. we got one more frame left right now. <clears throat> and look at how it just grows. Look at the one back here. How it just grew. It's covering the entire sky like a giant sheet. So you can't see anything across the horizon. Nope, this is just something I found in Anna Webcrams. I found it interesting. I'm hoping some of you two find it interesting. Um, just leave a comment if you like, but God bless you all. You have a good night and try to sleep well, but just remember, always be prepared. You do have a spare tire on your car, even if you may never use it, still there. You guys have a good night once again.